Yo, Elliot, I was wondering what your thoughts are on investing in the stock market, cryptocurrency, real estate, and other forms of investment. What do you recommend young men start to invest in? Would love your insight. So let's, let's review those three things that you're considering. Stock market, cryptocurrency, real estate, right? Those are, those are three legitimate things that people invest in, but only one of them is real. And that's real estate, right? That's what I call it, real estate. Stock market is fake. Our entire monetary system is fake, right? Study the Federal Reserve Bank. There's a book called The Monster from Jekyll Island about the institution of the Federal Reserve System back in, the, uh, in 1913, I believe it was. The, this fiat currency system is designed to fail. They create these systems. I think it's based on, I want to say Keynesian economics. I don't know if I'm getting all this stuff right. But essentially, this boom-bust cycle is built into the design of, of, of central banks. And this is not the first time it happened. This is a part of the reason why Andrew Jackson was so adamant against the central banks coming to, the, coming to America. Right. This was his like on his dying bed. This was like his last battle. It was like, don't let the banks come here. Well, you know who the banks are, right? The Roth, the Rothschilds, right, of the world. Rothschild came here, right, because he's a Jew from Europe, right? Just saying. Came and he goes, uh, hey, who are the richest guys here? Well, think about like the Jeffrey Bezoses and the, and the Mark Zuckerbergs of the time. Who were they? Rockefeller, uh, Carnegie, uh, Vanderbilt, right? And so he approaches these guys, right? They're the, they're the, the, the magnets of the time, right? They're, they're the Zuckerbergs of the time. And he convinces them that, you know, it is in your best interest, particularly their best interest, to create this, uh, this, this um, fiat monetary system, central banking system. And in, 19, in the 1970s, I think it was um, Nixon who removed the dollar from the gold standard. So at one point, we, our money was not as fake as it is now because at least it was backed by gold. But since the 1970s, it's not even backed by gold. Our money is literally printer paper. The, it, it doesn't represent, it doesn't, it's not backed by anything. And it's, I'll tell you two reasons why it's being worth less and less right now. There are many. Number one, based on this new administration, if you notice that gas prices are going up because we're not tapping into our own natural resources. The dollar after, after it was detached from gold became the petrodollar because it was tied to oil. We don't even produce our own oil, right? Depending on who's in office, if you notice, Obama gas prices went down. Trump gas prices went, uh, I'm sorry, Obama prices went up. Trump prices went down. <laughs> we got Obama, I mean, uh, second Obama, what's his name? Elaine Black, uh, Biden. Prices are going up. Because when you shut down oil production, energy production, petroleum, which the petrodollar is tied to, the dollar loses its, it starts to lose its value, right? Because we're now using that money, not, it's not backed by our own oil, we're using it to buy other people's oil, right? Anyway, I'm not totally, in, you know, I'm not an expert in this, but it's one of the reasons why. The second reason why is because the central bank continues to print money, right? If, you have, if your money's not backed by anything, number one, and number two, you just keep printing it, you create inflation. And I believe, I don't even have to believe it, y'all just look. Look in the grocery stores. Notice the prices of everything going up. We are experiencing a, a fabricated, a med premeditated, a created financial collapse. We will experience this in our lifetimes, probably very soon here. <laughs> I've heard predictions, but I don't want to get into that, right, as to when, because nobody really knows when. Somebody knows, but most of us, we don't know. Some people think it's going to happen this year, though. So I don't, I don't put my trust in money. I don't. I see it as a tool and I use it as a tool when I need it. But when you invest, think about that. There's a difference between working for money, right? What am I doing? I'm, not inve I'm investing my time because my time is real. I'm, and I invest my energy into receiving something in return for what? So that I can buy something real. 
if I'm investing my time, investing my energy into receiving something and then putting it back into the system that is fake from which it came, right? I call it fake, but we still use it to trade. But the whole, it's a figment of our imagination. It's all really made up. If I put it right back into that fake ass system, what, do I go, what can I expect? When it collapses, all of it will collapse. Cryptocurrency, my issue with cryptocurrency is that it's digital. And digital is electronic. And electricity is not guaranteed. At any point, if there's an EMP attack, or solar flare, or just energy shortages because depending on the administration that's in power, energy becomes short, right? Electricity could be shut off. What happens when you need to trade and all your money is on a, on a hard drive? Wow, I, don't, I mean, all my, I, got, I got a million cryptos in here. Yeah, bro, but the electricity hasn't been on in four months. What are you going to do? Wow, are we going to eat it? What are you going to trade it? Here, this is good for when the electricity comes on. I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. It's fake. It's even faker than the fake money that we're dealing with right now. And here's another, I'm just ranting on crypto. Don't mean I'm right. I'm just giving you my opinion. My rant about crypto, my feeling about crypto, first of all, I think it came from China. I think the guy that created it is from China. That just tells you a little something. It just so, look, it just tells you something to be aware of, given that the globalists want China to be the next world superpower. And there's no question about that. It's very obvious to see. I'm going to trust a Chinese-made currency <laughs> founded in current, right? Again, uh, don't mean I, I know I'm right. Also, this big push towards it. Like, I don't know if you know, but I read recently that central banks are now going to all, especially in Europe, all digital currency. It's easier to manipulate. It's easier to control when it's in a cloud, when it's fake, right? Just like the fake uh, metaverse that we we're talking about the other day. You're easier to control when you're living in a fake world. What is real is real estate, precious metals, food, food production capabilities, Energy production capabilities, energy, right? Like I'm investing in a giant tank with propane on my property, a giant propane tank. I'd rather put my money in a giant propane tank so that I can have energy if the electricity goes out and I need to live off the grid than in the stock market. I invest in solar power. I have my own solar array that I built, right? My big boy, I built it built my own solar array, I bought a bunch of batteries and I bought a, an inverter and I attached it to what? My well pump, why? Because water's real. I'm investing in water. All the things I invest in are real. This is all I wanna put, it out, put out there to you. I will never become a crypto millionaire. I'll never be a stock market millionaire. It's just not gonna happen to me. Maybe it'll happen to you, but what I do is invest in what I can eat, what I can touch, what actually holds value. Like gold has hold, held value for thousands of years. I'm reading the Bible right now and it's trading in gold. They got gold and silver back then. They don't have dollars and denaries and what is the Chinese one? Yins, right? Cryptos. Crypto even sound, crypto sounds a little strange to me. You ever hear the word like, you know what a Crypt Keeper is? When I, was, when I was a kid, I used to watch this show with the Crypt Keeper. It was like, it was like a horror show, right? He's this old uh, uh, like zombie that lived in the, lived in the, in the uh, 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 where the dead people are, right? Crypto, crypto means death. Is that correct? I got to look into the uh, etiology of that. But cryptic. Crypto, the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> I, think the, I, think, I think the word has some association with death, right? What is the main crypto called? It's called um, Bit Bitcoin? Anyway, so I don't know. I'm a, little, I'm a little leery of those things. But if my thoughts on investing, bro, buy real estate. There's a, did you know? 
that the and this is just this is brand new information. In other words, maybe this is the past like half decade. The two largest American land owners are Bill Gates and the Chinese Communist Party. Why do you think that is? Why do you think the Chinese Communist Party, the new world superpower, right? The, the intended world superpower and Bill Gates, one of the richest men on the planet who's effectuating all kinds of change with his, you know, his, his foray into vaccines and whatnot. Why do you think these guys are, why do you think they're the biggest landowners? Because they know everything else is fake. Once this all goes to shit, the only thing that's going to matter is who do, who owns the deed to this land. Oh, you don't, own this deed you don't own this land get out of here buddy go pay rent somewhere this is what the glow this is what the, uh, the klaus schwab from the economic forum has said you could look it up klaus schwab he says you will own nothing and be happy you will own nothing what does he mean when you say when he says you will own nothing it means you're not gonna own the, the, the dirt beneath your feet you ain't gonna own the water that you drink and in a way we don't i pay taxes but it's gonna be even worse so anyway, that's why I put my investment, man. Um, I'm, I'm spending more and more money on making myself more and more self-sufficient. Is it, is, is it all going to pan out for me? Is it going to work out well for me and not for you? I don't know. I guess that's why it's all sort of a gamble, right? Stock market's a gamble. Crypto's a gamble. Real estate, you know? I mean, I think it's a more reasonable gamble, but who knows? Nobody knows, dude. So anyway, I hope that's some um, insight and help for you, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.